Hey folks, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's product is something a little bit different. Like I said, we like to throw new stuff at you every now and then just to see how you do. This is not a role-playing specific product. This is this. It's, it's the Serenity, the Atlas of the Verse, Volume 1. This is not directly link, linked, other than through the thematic basis of the Serenity Firefly world, to Margaret Weiss Productions' very fine role-playing game. This is made by a different company that deals with not as much the role-playing game as just more information on the verse. And if there's ever been anything that I think is really lacking in the Serenity games, and it's not really their fault, is that we don't have a lot of background on the verse. We had a small handful of episodes, we've got a couple comics, and we've had the Serenity movie, and that's really all we get to play with. The other companies have really taken on the role of expanding that universe out a little bit. What you get in Atlas of the Verse, Volume 1, is the Trader's Guild Guide to the New Canaan Run. What it is, as you look into this, is it shows you, it talks about several different planets that have either been visited or referenced in the TV series or the movie. It gives you a map of the worlds, for example, with Londinium. It gives you a map of Londinium with several of the cities labeled. It gives you some maps, some nice, some nice little information, a couple of nice pictures, what the planet, some, sometimes what the planet was like pre-terraform. And then on some of the other pages, it just gives you some really interesting stuff for you to use. Like here's an entire page on currency. Here's what the currency looks like, so you can see what the bills would look like that your characters would use. Some of the coinage also included in this, there are, from Persephone, there's the eaves down docks. Here is what an aerial shot of the docks look like with different ships parked in different places. You could easily import this into your game as something you could use very, very well in those situations. So in addition to talking about the planets, it also, for example, on, it gives you kind of what like one of the flash kill pod grenades would look like. There's a section on Hera with what Serenity Valley looked like and sort of some of the battle plans of where the troop lines went in, in the Battle of Serenity Valley. There's a picture of, let's face it, it's Mal's gun. That's what we all want. There's a picture of Mal's gun with the cross section and how it works. There's also a timeline and some pictures of the different Firefly class ships. So you can see what all of them look like through history as well as when they were first produced. Finally, and what I think is interesting is they've managed to sneak in a, an almost character battle grid here. On the, the sign-on page, there is a diagram of the Companion Guild training house. And if you look closely, there's little squares where you could move your figures around if you really wanted to. If you wanted to use that as, like, say, a for a battle between your fearless renegade ship captain and an operative of the Alliance. I have no idea where I would have gotten that idea. Hmm, maybe I should sell that. What this brings to you is a lot of good detail, background flavor, um, just interesting information for you and your players to have for your game. If you like Serenity or, and Firefly, I recommend highly getting your hands on this product. If you want something to give your game just a little bit more flavor, to give your Firefly Serenity game, whatever engine you happen to be using, I recommend getting this product. If nothing else, it shows you some, and it might spur ideas, like how would a counterfeiting ring of, of Alliance currency work? What would they have to do, and how can your character have adventures based upon that sort of idea? For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming.